Cancer is a disease can affect many organs, and in the case of the kidney, okay, it can present in two different ways. It can present localized in the kidney, and it can present as an advanced disease where it compromises different organs and different sites outside of the kidney. The most common uh, symptom or signs of advanced renal cell carcinoma is a uh, palpable mass in the flank region or a lump in the flank or a pain caused by the tumor or a blood in the urine, what we call hematuria. These are the most common symptom or signs uh, to present uh, uh, for those patients with advanced renal cell carcinoma. But most of the time, uh, some of the patients come with no symptoms, what we call asymptomatic. Many times, metastatic kidney cancer is caught late uh, because the symptoms are a little bit vague and elusive. Because of the location of the kidney being at the back of the abdomen, sometimes you can't feel that there's a mass there. And so oftentimes our patients present later with later stages of disease. There are two major pathways responsible for renal cell carcinoma progression and development. The first is called VGF pathway, it means that cancer needs uh, extra blood vessels to grow and to supply oxygen and uh, nutrients to cancer. The other pathway is called mTOR pathway, which is responsible for controlling cell division, growth and dying. believe patients need to be engaged. They need to look for information. There is support 